Hope you're all having a great day today. I hope you all just enjoyed my lesson on Gandhi and you learned some things about his theory of nonviolence. Um, so for this class, we're going to be actually practicing conversational English. Um, and this is specifically for people who are interested in preparing for a job interview. But even if you are not preparing for a job interview, you will still find these questions very useful. They will still help you with your English. Um, okay, so and for those of you who are not yet a Verbling Premium member, um, Premium members get unlimited, I'm just putting this in the chat for those of you who are reading, get unlimited reservations each month and it is $25 per month. So if anyone ever wants to join that. Um, I can see Marcia. Hi Marcia. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Did you have a reservation for this class? Yes. Great. Good. Good. And um, are you able to see the verbling chat right now? Not yet. I'm going in yet. Okay. So click on the uh, left-hand side of your screen. You will see verbling classes. So try to load that while we're waiting. It's uh, it's loading yet. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't. That's okay. Thank you. And um, can you go to somewhere without as much noise? Because I hear kids and stuff in the background. Oh, I I I you move to my my mi microphone. Um, okay. But there's something wrong with my my program. Are you try uh, go in again? Okay, okay, oh. that's okay. No, no, okay. Oh yay! Good, great, good. Okay, and we have Umi. Hi, Umi. Hi. How are you doing Can you today? Hear me? Yes, I can Fine, hear you. Fine, thank you. Good, good. Um, okay, and we have... Thank you. Uh, uh, this is my kid, uh, Noisy. What was that? What was that? What did you say? What? Hmm. Uh, my kids, uh, it's Noisy. Your kids, what about your kids? You Sorry. ask early who it um, um Sorry my mind is not good. Your mind is not good. Okay. Um well, I don't know what you are what you're talking about. Um but if you're talking about background noise, just mute yourself when you are not talking. Okay, okay. Okay, and we have Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. How are you doing today? Hi, darling. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you. And we have Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. Ricardo? Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Hi. Good. Hi, and you? Very good. Thank you. And we have Massimo. Hi, Massimo. Oh, Massimo, I can't hear you. You might be on mute. There would be a little red button at the top of your screen if you are in mute. Now try talking. Hmm, it is not working. Massimo, try clicking the little red button at the top right hand side of your screen. It should take you off mute. Massimo, watch my Can you, screen. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, there uh, you are. Okay. Good. How are you doing today? Uh, it was fine uh, the, the day. Good, good. It, this is the good. first uh, lesson in Babbling. Ooh, that's great. You must be Italian? 
Yes. Yes. Palermo. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell by your accent. Buongiorno. Um, and we Ciao. have. Uh, <laughs> and we have uh, Manel. Manel. Yeah. Yeah. I, how are you? Good. You're back. That's great. Good. And we have Eren. Hi, Eren. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you doing today? Fine. You? I'm good. Thank you. And we have Andoni. Andoni? Yeah, that's right. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well, too. Thank you. Great. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is going online, uh, going to my document that I posted earlier, and I'll post it again in the Verbling chat and I'll post it in the other chat. Now, if you are not in this class and you are just viewing, you can still go to this side of your screen. You'll see a little blue thing right now. That is a link to the document we're going to all be watching. So you are more than welcome to follow along with us, um, even if you are not in the class. Um, so, as you all know, this, uh, this is a, a, a class that is hopefully going to help you be better at having quick conversations in English. I will give you some, we call them tricks of the trade. <laughs> a trade is like a skill. So if I say, oh, I'll, I'll give you the tricks of the trade, that means I'm giving you inside information of how people speak, native English people speak. Um, Okay, great. So if you have any questions, please type them in the chat right over here. Type them in the chat and I will respond to them. Even if you are not in this class, you can still comment and write in the chat and I will help you. Um, but first I'd like to go through and I'd like everyone to tell me why, uh, if they are looking for a job in English or if they just want to improve conversational English. So, do you want to practice interviews or conversation only? Okay, so everyone just tell me. So, Andoni? Yes. Yes, I, so... Yep. Yeah. I think I, I would like to practice conversation. Okay, good. Thank you. And we have um, Eren. What about you? Um, uh, I would like to improve my conversation. Good. Thank you. And Manel. Yeah, conversation. Okay, good. And Marcia. I need to improve my uh, conversation skills. I mean, live in UK now. I I I must to to learn to speak. Okay, good, good to know. Thank you. And we have Massimo. Massimo, what about you? Uh, improve my pronunciation and the conversations. Good. Did you say projections? Oh, pronunciation. Oh, Massimo, you froze on us. We can't hear you. You're frozen. Okay, there you are. There you are. Okay, so you want to improve your conversation. Okay, hopefully. Um, and we have Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. What would you like to do today? Um, conversation. Conversation. A little, a little of interview could be. Maybe. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Okay, so Nicholas, you wouldn't mind some interview questions. Okay, um, and then we have Omar. Omar, what about you? I need to know some English. You need want to learn conversational English. Good. Yes. Good. And we have Ricardo. Ricardo? Hey. Yeah. What was that? I'm prepared for interview. Can you say that one more time, Ricardo? Your microphone is cutting out. Yes. Uh, 
I told you that I'm preparing for interview job. For job interviews. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. And Umi. Umi, what about you? Conversational or job interview? Umi? Umi, are you there? Okay, so Umi, you have to have a working microphone to be in this class. I'm here. Okay, so your microphone is working. Okay. Okay, Umi, we can't have any background noise. I understand that you're with your children right now, um, but um, it, it, it is very distracting for people, and we can't hear you very well when we hear children. So um, I'll see if this works out. If not, I have to open the uh, spot for another student with no background noise. But anyways, let's, um, let's all go to that document, and I will screen share it for you. So I did tailor this, which means I thought that a lot of you would want to do job interviews, but that's okay. Um, I know that, um, that most of you want to do conversation, and so I'm going to do more on that. But for uh, Nicholas and Ricardo, I'll make sure that I cover some important questions there for you. Um, okay, conversational. This is an important one. Um, when someone asks you... Oh, uh, Nicholas, I'm going to have to, oops, what am I doing here? <laughs> okay, I'll quickly screen share some of these questions for you. So we have uh, talking about yourself or job interview questions. When we're having conversations in English, we must, um, we must know how to talk about ourselves. It is better to be able to say a lot about yourself, especially if someone who is English is asking you, where are you from? They're interested in your life. They want to hear more details than Argentina. You? They want to hear more. They want you to be able to, to speak about yourself. When someone asks you, how are you doing today? Or they might also say, How's it going? How is it going? How's it going is the same as how are you today? Same thing. Now, some of you started, were saying um, fine. So I'm going to write this out for you. Fine. Fine is like this. Fine is like, fine, uh, but it's more, it's more negative. A better answer to say when someone asks you how you are is, I'm well, or I'm good. Okay, that's, that's positive. That is a good way to say it. So when someone says, um, Massimo, how are you doing today? Um, the day was great. Great and, is uh, good too. Good. Good. So we have great, which is like this. This is great. I'm great. Okay. Yeah, and that's really good. If you are speaking to someone and you say, I'm fine, even if you say, I'm fine with a smile, it feels like something is a little wrong. It is best to say, I'm good or I'm well. If you are in a job interview, you always want to uh, make yourself seem that you are good and well and happy and have energy. So next time when someone says, how are you doing, you will not say, I'm fine, unless something is wrong. Fine is like, well, not good, not bad. Eh. It's best to say I'm good or I'm well. Okay. Any other, any questions? Or I'm like excellent. That? I'm excellent? Did you say that? Who said that? Omar? Me. Yes. Oh, 
Eren, exactly. You can also say, I'm excellent. Thank you. Those are really positive things to say. Or like Massimo said, I'm great, excellent, well, good. These are much better than I'm fine. Okay? They're just more positive, especially in a job interview, but even when you're just talking to someone. Um, and uh, it's correct to, to answer, I'm doing very well. Yes. Yes. That's, that's definitely correct. And there, you can use whichever one is more comfortable for you. I'm doing very well is, is perfect. That's perfect English. Okay. Yes. Thank you could say any of them. I'm doing excellent. I'm doing very well. I'm doing great. So you can also put in I'm doing. Like I'm doing great. But instead of um, saying you, you could say... So, for example, how are you doing today? You could answer, I'm doing great. How are you doing? You can return the question instead of saying just you. Okay? So this is better to give full sentences. So instead of, sometimes I ask my students, how are you doing today? And they say, good you. It's much nicer when they give me full sentences like, oh, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Or, what about you? What about you is the same as how are you doing? Good. Um, I'll just screen share this again. Next question. Um, tell me about yourself. People will ask you, tell me about yourself. What kinds of things would you say when somebody asks you, tell me about yourself, what kinds of things would you tell them? And Doni, what would you tell them if someone said, tell me about yourself? Uh, I, I will tell how I have been lately or something like that. Yeah. And what about if someone said, or let's say, um, what what have you been up to lately? What have you been up to lately? That means what ha things have you been doing lately? That is an expression. Been up to means been doing. What would you tell them? Uh, I will tell them uh, about my uh, my lately experiences. Yes, so you tell them what you have been experiencing lately. Yeah. Even what you did yesterday and today. So, Nicholas, can you give me an example? What, what, how would you answer that question? Um, what, what have you been up to late? Yeah. What have you been up to um, lately? Oops, um, sorry, not late. I meant lately. Oopsies, that's supposed to say lately, like that. I, okay. have, I have been taking some class of, of learning. Um, I also, I have been studying a little. Studying what? Studying a little. Great. Yep, that's a great response. So you're kind of just making what we call this, I think that they do it in most languages and most cultures. It's called making conversation. Making conversation, which means making conversation. So let's say you sit down beside someone you don't know very well. You are not going to turn to the person and say, hello, how many kids do you have? You will not ask them questions like that. You will just say general questions, and you talk about what you did today, what you did yesterday, very um, simple questions. You can talk about your family, but a more, common, um, a more common thing when people ask is, what have you been up to lately? What have, what have you been doing lately? What do you do with your time? What have you been doing with your time? But she, when uh, uh, they ask you that question in a job interview, well, the answer must be superficial, like that, or a more 
deeply. Agreed. Good question. Good question. In a job interview, um, let's say the person is very friendly. If the person is very friendly, they will ask you, how are you doing today? What have you been up to lately? This is called making conversation. And yes, it's superficial, but it is what we do to get comfortable with each other. So for example, I think I'm very friendly. When I come into class, all of the verbaling teachers are wonderful. They're all so friendly. So we don't get into class and say, okay, students, great. We're going to start. Everyone go to the article right now. Right? We, we, we have, it's, it, you're right, it is superficial conversation, but it serves a nice role. It makes us comfortable with each other. So you would still answer with, um, you would still answer with a superficial question. Good question. Um, next question. So where are you from? When you answer where are you from, you can give some details to that. So instead of, so someone may ask me, hey Lauren, where are you from? I'm not going to say Ontario, Ontario, Canada. I will say some, if I'm having a conversation with someone, I would give a little more details. Like, I'm from a small town in Ontario called Barrie, but I moved to Newfoundland this year to go to school. Or right now I'm living in Newfoundland, but I'm originally, I'm from Barrie. I'm from a small town, a small city in Barrie. So it's just, um, um, it gives the other person opportunity to ask you more questions or to talk about what you've just said. So if I say I'm from a small town, the other person has the opportunity to say, oh, wow, you're from a small town. I'm from a big city. It must be different living in a small town. Or... You, you say more, more details. What was that? More, more details. More details, yes. More details, yes. Yes, exactly. So let's try asking, um, let's try Manal. Manal, where are you from? Okay. Uh, well, I'm I'm from uh, from um, a small city in Oman. Uh, it's near uh, of the sea, and it's a beautiful city. It's called the uh, Sur. Actually. Oh wow! You're from a little city near the ocean. Yeah. You're so lucky. That's amazing. Did, yeah. did, did you go swimming a lot? Oh my gosh, no. It's not acceptable here. You're Don't not allowed to go. <gasps> what? Okay, so did everyone see that? So because she gave me more details than just the country she is from, I could ask her more questions about herself. And let's say one day I forget Manal's name. I will always remember that she is the girl who lived on the ocean. Okay? Yeah, and, and she can't swim. And she can't See? swim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's why you give more details. So, um, great. That was great. Giving a detail that someone can ask questions about. And I'm yeah. sorry, I'm just seeing uh, some questions here. I definitely want to join this class next week, but for now I've got to go. That's okay, Maria. Thank you anyways. Um, Okay, so just so everyone knows, the uh, reservations only work at the beginning of a class. So you cannot make a reservation and then join the class in the middle. It only works so that you have time to join at the beginning of class before other students are allowed to. Okay, and let's continue. So next question. Next question is, um, so remember when you are telling someone where you're from, just like Nicholas said, give details. Give the person, give the other person the a detail about where you are from or your home country that will make them want to ask more questions. 
Okay? Great. Next one. Let's say, let's say you visit Canada or the United States or England or somewhere that speaks English. You will probably hear very often, what brings you here? And that's just a common question English people will ask or English speakers ask. Oh, what brings you to this store? What brings you to this restaurant? If you go, let's say, to a restaurant um, and you're, you are, let's say, in the United States, your server, so the waitress, the person who gives you the food, will say, oh, oh my, what brings you to this part of the United States? <laughs> that was my United States I, accent. <laughs> I know a, a phrase, some of my friends say this, this phrase, they say, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Yeah, like, thank you, Anthony. And Anthony, right? Sorry, Anthony. Yeah. Yes. What brings you to this neck of the woods? That is an expression. That means what brings you to if we were in a big forest, what what brings you to this particular part of the forest? It's a very, very old expression, and for some reason, um, it has just stuck around for many years. So, um, it means what brings you to this place right now. So, let's try this out. Um, Omar. Yes. Omar, what brings you here today? Um, what? The kitchen? What brings you here today? That means, why are you here? Why are you here right now? Because uh, I love to go Mecca. Because what? I love to go Mecca. You love to work. Say it one more time. I love to go Mecca. Mecca. Ah, she she loves to go to Mecca. It's a place in a. Uh, you, what? Uh, in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> oh, in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, he, yeah. Oh, okay, I understand. Okay, good, Omar. Good. Thank you. Um, and let's try Ricardo. Hey, Ricardo, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Uh, well, because I want so to. I. I'm here in Berlin because I want to improve my English. Good, good. So what I would do if I were you, give more details to me. I want to improve my English because I want to get a job easier and in my country knowing English is it's easier to get a job or something. Give the other person the opportunity to ask more questions. We call that elaborate. Do not just give a simple answer. Give an answer with details. Okay? So try that again, Ricardo. Okay, I'm I'm here in Berlin because uh, I want to improve my English because. Uh, right now, I'm looking for a job. Uh, the next, the next, the next week, I will, I will get a interview. So, I'm I'm preparing for job interview. Good, good, good. That's really good. And then the person will ask you, oh, what kind of job do you want? What country do you want to go to? They can ask you so many questions because you've given us just a, a couple extra details. So that's a great answer, Ricardo. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, next question. Um, what brings you here? So um, as far as what brings you to Canada, England, the United States, if you travel, you will hear that a lot. So let's pretend, let's pretend, Andoni, that you have visited the United States. Or would you ever have a reason to visit the United States? Uh, yes, in fact, I go every week because I live on the border. <gasps> 
Whoa, cool. So you're from Mexico. Yes, I'm from Mexico. Oh, great. So you're from the border. And um, so let's pretend that you are at a job interview or that you are just having a conversation with someone. So, Anthony, what brings you to what brings you to the U.S.? What brings you here? Uh, oh, I'm here because I wanted to visit some of my uh, relatives. Uh, I'm here uh, because I have a need, uh, a, a job interview, uh, and I want to be uh, early for my interview. Great. That's really good, Anthony. That's a great answer. So this person who you're talking to might say, oh, wow, and what family are you visiting? Why don't they live in Mexico with you? What job interview are you going to? Where? Things like that. So it's great that you have all of those details. Good. Okay. okay. So now this is a question that you will hear uh, people ask. When I go to Egypt, I love to go see. What was that, Omar? One more time. When I go to Egypt, I love to go see. So when you go to Egypt, you love to go see. What do you like to see, Omar? See, see. See. You like to see. What do you like to see? No. You can type it in the chat. Um. Sea. Oh, you like to go to the sea. Good, good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if someone says to you, at a, this and although we are practicing a job interview for everyone right now, this will help you in any conversation you ever have. These getting used to talking about these p things about yourself because someone will ask you these questions anyways, even if you are not in a job interview. Some of them. So if someone says, "Tell me about yourself," what do you think they want to know? What do you think is the main things they want to know? You want to know what do you do, what do you like? Yeah, so what are your hobbies? That's a question they might want to know. Where are you from? That's another thing they'd want to know. So this is many questions all in one. Where what are you? do you like? What do you like? Yep, that's for hobbies. What do you like to do? What do you love? Um, that would be probably in the same question there. You would probably talk about the same things in that question. What do you like or love to do? Yes. That's good. Um, okay, so other things. They might want to know what is your education or uh, describe... Or what do you like to eat? <laughs> they might want to know that, yes. Here, I'll put that as a next question. That can be one, yes. Um, okay, so when someone says, tell me about yourself, you will need to say a lot of different things in that question if you are at a job interview or anything. So we're going to go through them individually as we go through our questions. So when someone asks you, um, do you all know how to describe your education? So if I said, Marcia, what is your education? I have, I have a degree, no. I, I have a degree mm -hmm. in business and administration. Oh. And Good. I'm doing uh, the NBQ. It's, um, uh, it's more, it's... Um, less than the degree but in English now because I, I did it in Portuguese in Brazil. Good. So, I'm a student. <laughs> so that's good, that's good. So your degree is four years? It's five years. Five years. So at a university? Yes. So we call that, so if you're watching, a bachelor, bachelor's degree. 
Bachelor. When it is uh, actually three years as well. So three to five years. No, not three. Four. Four to five years in a university. And I have yeah, the, uh, a bachelor course. It's that the phrase. Yep, I have a bachelor's degree in business administration. And I'm currently taking. What are you taking right now again? Uh, it's um, NVQ. It's uh, something uh, typical here. It's a um, um, uh, law the, the degree. It's um, one a a level. Wait, no. below? Not a master's. Not a diploma. A diploma. Yes, diploma. Okay, so you would say, I have my bachelor's degree in business administration. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently, I'm currently taking my, uh, com I'm currently completing my diploma in whatever subject you are taking it. It's business and administration too. Oh, okay. So you would say, this, this is how you should say that, okay? This is what okay. sounds good. I am currently, uh, so sorry. Hello, my name is Maria. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mar Marcia. Marcia. I'm, I'm currently. Oh, sorry. I have my bachelor's degree in business administration, and I'm currently upgrading and getting a diploma in business administration. Because it's in the same thing, you should say you are upgrading, which means you are making it one grade higher so even better than having just your bachelor's degree now you're also getting a diploma it's exactly the opposite I mean doing a low level low level now oh, yeah. because no, no. Uh, my English is terrible yet so I'm not able to work in my area here I need to to improve my English first. So wait. I'm so you are taking? Uh, I, I I mean coming back. I'm doing the uh, a degree uh, lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I understand that. But you're taking it in English instead of. Yeah. If so it's a, a, an upgrade. Um, up, upgrade. Yeah. So that's why, even though yes, the diploma is lower than the bachelor's. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to say it like that. That sounds bad. You don't want to say, <laughs> I'm, I'm not very good. So I'm taking a lower level now. You don't want to say that. Okay. You want to say, <laughs> you want to say, yes, I already have my bachelor's degree, and now I'm upgrading with an extra diploma in business administration to improve my English skills. Very nice. <laughs> that's that's what you say. So, Nicholas, what is your education? Um, I um, I have a, a bachelor degree in chemical engineering. Chemical engineering. Chemical engineer, yes, and um, I have to uh, a couple of course. Uh, one of one is uh, oh, this is of a is about a program uh, of design, mm -hmm. three 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 D three D design, mm -hmm. and I am currently. Uh, Studying, improving my English uh, to get a better, uh, uh, better conditions. For, uh, I, I don't know what's it. Better fluency. Better fluency. fluency. This means being able to uh, talk quickly, more fluent. So. Yes. Let me get this straight. You already have your bachelor's degree. How many years? Four or five years? Five years. So you say, I have my bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. Okay. And right now you are taking extra courses? Uh, yes, I have a, I, I have a course 
uh, in 3D design, computer. So, sorry, what is that? Uh, 3D design. I, I don't know, 3D. 3D um, design. Yes. Right. Yes. Great, great. So that's another thing you can say. So if you want to know how to give a good job interview, Nicholas, you say, yes. I have already completed my five-year bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. I am currently upgrading. Upgrading means getting better and taking uh -huh. extra courses in 3D design. Yes. I'm also, I'm also taking English lessons on the side. Don't tell them your English lessons are free. Tell them no, no. you are taking <laughs> English lessons on the side. <laughs> yes, it's, maybe it's better. Maybe it's better. Yes. <laughs> so try that now. Um, well, uh, I, I, have, I have a bachelor's degree uh, uh, in chemical engineering. Mm -hmm. I, I currently I taking uh, I improving. No, I am upgrading uh, with a course in 3D design, and also I am taking uh, classes of English. Uh, no, say English lessons. English lessons. Yes, English lessons. English lessons, because if you say you're taking English classes, that is still correct. But if you say lessons that makes it seem that you have private English lessons so someone comes to your house and teaches you one-on-one. -on -one. So okay. say, it, is, it is not a lie because right now I am giving you a lesson so you're yes. not lying it just sounds better in a job interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see you. <laughs> okay, Marcia I see you're laughing at me. <laughs> A very useful uh, advice is, uh, that is yours. <laughs> Good, yes. And um, I know, Ricardo, you're also thinking about applying for a job. So what would you tell me? Tell me about your education. OK. Uh, I have <laughs> Sorry, one second, Ricardo. I can't hear you. Um, try one more time. Okay. I have my bachelor's degree in automotive, automotive systems engineering. Animal? Animal systems engineering? Automotive. Automotive en engineering. Yes. Great. Automotive engineering. Uh, I have many courses. I have many courses. Ricardo, I can't hear you very well. Um, please try to get a microphone that works better next time because you're cutting out. But try again. So you have okay. many courses? Yes. Uh, I have many courses. Um, on this, this, this course is in, in, in design, design, mechanical design. Mechanical design, mm-hmm. Yes, and machining, machining in CNC. Machining CNCE. Um, I don't know. Mach I don't know what that is. But um, are these courses you took in your bachelor's degree, or are they extra courses? Extra courses. Extra courses. So you should get those yes. to be able to say them quickly. Like, I have my bachelor's degree in automotive engineering. And I also have extra courses on the side. So you could say whatever it is. I have eight extra courses or ten or whatever it is that you have. Or plus an extra semester or whatever it is. So I have an extra semester of courses in this, this, and this. Okay. 
So get, be able to say that quickly. What what are the three things that you had? You said. Okay. Okay. So do, do you know? So do you want to try doing that quickly now, or? Okay. Uh, I have my bachelor degree in engineering. Also, I have uh, many courses. Uh, I have three courses in design, mechanical design, and machining CNC, and, and I forgot the, the other course. That's okay. Next time, if you're in front of an employer, know the course. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of important. <laughs> yes, no. Um. Okay, good. Um, okay. Um, great. Here are some more questions that you would definitely see. So, um, I'm gonna get to everyone who I haven't talked to yet by the end of class. But before, I want to just go through these questions quickly, especially for Marcia. I see you're replying somewhere. So that's great. Um, and Nicholas and Ricardo. So the, these are specifically important for you and also anyone who will ever get a job in the United States. Like maybe um, Andoni, these might be helpful for you as well. So what kind of training do you have? Training is about your education and other training. So you would explain both. That's why I put this as an extra question here, right? So if someone says, what kind of training do you have? If someone asked me, you want to teach in my com excuse me, you want to teach in my company? What kind of training do you have? I would say, I have a four-year bachelor's degree in English and theater studies. And I have my one-year teacher's college certification for teaching in Canada. I also taught in Japan for two summers, and I work for an online company called Verbling, teaching English to people all over the world. So that is my training, because I've given my, what trained me to be good at my job? Why should you hire me? So I don't just give my, my, uh, education I also give my experience and you have to have that done ready it should not be something like uh, 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 you should have it on the tip of your tongue ready to go that's an expression have it at the tip of your tongue so when someone says what's your education you don't have to sit and think it is at right there so practice saying that um, what kind of work experience do you have? So these are just different ways of asking the same kind of question. They will ask you what your duties were there. So what were you responsible for? What did you do there? So you won't just say, I worked at Verbling. You would say, I worked at Verbling and my duties involved planning lessons and teaching them as well as making up my own schedule. So that means I'm telling them what was involved in my job. Um, what was your greatest accomplishment there and what was your greatest failure? So very many people will say, I want to know what you did well, but tell me what you did not do well. That takes preparation because you don't want them to know the real thing that you're not good at. Trust me, I know this. You don't want to tell them, oh, I was late for work all the time. <laughs> uh, I was always late. That's not a good thing to tell your employer. They are trying to catch you uh, not expecting the question. That means they are trying to catch you. It's called off guard. They want to get you and say, what are you bad at? What are you not good at? They will ask you this, and you will have to say, uh, uh, well, and the first thing that comes to mind, you don't want to tell them that because that thing is probably pretty bad. So what I have started saying is, well, my worst quality is that 
sometimes I work too hard and then I am way too tired the next day. But I deal with that by making sure that on weekends I catch up with sleep. And I eat healthy so I always have enough energy. <laughs> so I say, <laughs> so I pretend my worst quality is that I work too hard. That's good advice. Don't actually tell them your problem because they won't hire you. <laughs> that is a good idea. Yes, that's a good one. So that's um, so. Um, Anthony, what is your worst quality? Um, my worst quality is that I always want to work. <laughs> I al I always want to be working. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's so bad. Uh, my worst. <laughs> yeah. Good. Do you ever have problems getting along with people, Andoni? Um, no, I've never had problems with that. Good. Good. Um, in a job interview, they will say, Did you ever have a problem with a manager? And how did you overcome that problem? How did you overcome that obstacle? Do not tell them if you ever got in a fight with a manager. Don't tell them that. I have, and I was right, and my manager was wrong, but I will never tell that story because the new manager does not want to know that you challenge authority, that you challenge your boss. So don't tell your manager the truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so let's get the next question. Um, what are your interests and hobbies? Um, and how did you learn how to speak English? That's a popular question people will ask you in conversation. So let's ask this one to Umi. Umi. Umi, Umi how did, how did, you, how did, how did you, you learn how to, how to speak, speak English? English? Oh, oh. Um, Umi, you have, you to, have put to put headphones, headphones on. on. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? I can, I hear, can you, hear you, but I'm also, I'm also hearing, hearing you speak, speak twice. twice. So, you so you have, have to, to put, put headphones, headphones in. in. Headphones, headphones like this. Like this. Uh, okay, in just a moment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Because if, if you're not wearing headphones, the sound comes out of your computer and goes back into your microphone. So that's obviously not very good for verbling. Um, but okay. So let's go uh, to, how did you learn how to speak English? Let's go to Nicholas. Nicholas, how did you learn how to speak English? Mm, how, I, uh, how I learn? How did how you I learn how to speak English? Um, and I first uh, uh, learned something in the, in the university, and then I take English, uh, English lessons with the teacher, personally, and <laughs> I, I am here, <laughs> talking a, a little. Good. No, let me help you with this answer. This is what you say. I started learning it in university, and I thought it was very important for me to learn to speak English very well. So I started taking English lessons three four, five, ten times a week, whatever the number is that you come to verbling classes. You say, I spent five hours a week in lessons learning how to speak English. Okay? Yes. They don't need to know yes. that you are on a free website. They don't need to know that. No, no. We, have an we have an expression. We say, what they won't know won't kill them. What they don't know won't kill them. So. You don't need yeah, to tell them everything. <laughs> okay, Marina, how did you learn how to speak English? Marina? Oh, sorry, Marcia, I'm sorry. Marcia, how did you learn how to speak English? I started to learn in a ESO um, class uh, at the college, but it's only once a week. So it's not enough to learn, and uh, because that I started to do 
uh, uh, preparation for my diploma in business. So I I started to uh, to learn it on set, last September. Good, so, good, good. Did you uh, just out of curiosity, was it Verbling that you were coming to? Like, have you been with Verbling since last September? No, I started two weeks ago. Oh, that's great. And are you finding it helpful so far? Yes, very helpful because I um, I notice uh, when I speak wrong. I need to speak to 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 see to hear where I need um, improvement. I need Yes, uh, uh, where uh, where uh, are my my big mistakes mm -hmm. to to work on 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 that? Mm -hmm. That not is not that. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. That's okay. That's good. Marcia, your English understanding is really good. Your comprehension is very good. So yes, you should. I can also write. Uh, my work in the college is very. Um, I have a good grades in my work, mm -hmm. my writing work, but my uh, ability to speak is very far yet. So I you should come to speaking classes. Sorry? Come to, spe come to verbling speaking classes yes. all the time. I will. <laughs> I will. Thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. And, um, okay, great. So, Endoni, I'm going to give you um, a question. Actually, first, let's see. Umi, were you able to get headphones? <laughs> Yes. Yes, you have them? Great. Yeah. So, Umi, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, what is your education? My education, uh, bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. uh, accounting. Good. Good. And how yeah. did you learn how to speak English? I can't speak English. <laughs> Yes, yes, you can. Well, how did you learn as much as you know now? <laughs> I um, learn English at home and in the in, on the internet. Um, I really need English because I live in U.S. Good, good. Did you learn English in school at all? No. I can't go to school because I have a small child. Mm. But you still have a bachelor's degree. Uh, my my country. From your country. Yes, my uh, I finished bachelor's degree. My country. In my country. In my country. Good, good. And what uh, what was it again? What did you say the degree was in? What subject? Mm. What I, kind I study, of degree? Yeah. Uh, accounting. Accounting. Great. Yes. So, Umi, when someone asks you, that's great. You say, in my home country, I got a bachelor's degree in accounting. Uh, and okay. now I, I'm learning English on the internet. Perfect. Uh, oh, thank you. Perfect. No, that's good. Umi, keep coming to speaking classes, but just make sure you don't have background noise because it's, it's very difficult for everyone else to hear next time, okay? Okay. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank um, you. Well, I must end class now, um, but I hope that you found this useful, and I can see that it is a good topic, conversational English, to have. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do it again maybe next week, something like this. Um, nice to meet you all, and I hope to see you again in one of my other classes. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you um, for, I, for the advice. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and you see over here I put my Verbling and Facebook information if you would like to follow my classes or follow me on Facebook. And I'm seeing that you joined Nanu and I'm sorry we didn't get to talk but next time if you join at the beginning we will be able to talk. Okay? Okay. Bye everyone. See you later.